because now I'm five minutes late. All right. Here, let me start Instagram up. Live. Start. All right, everybody. We will begin in just a couple minutes. I just need to make sure I have um, everything in order. But look, this is what we got going on. We have, can you see this? Oysters and bacon, pepper jack cheese, some scallions, and some French bread. All right, just give me uh, two minutes and we'll start the show. All right, everybody, we're about to rock it out. sure we got everything set that looks good turn this off turn comments on hopefully the comments are working today they are all right Ryan Bailey Rick Dennis John Starskovich Richard Ar oh, Albertini almost messed your name up Richard Jason Chris Scott Pedro, John, Salazar, Stephen, Lewis. Oh, we've got a good bit of people in there. So, um, Pat is out today. Pat had a 35-year uh, a class reunion last night, and uh, he's um, out of town. So, um, Chris is helping me out. Chris Johnson, the admin in our group. And uh, I have him in my ear. And uh, we're going to try to keep up with these questions. And... Do you, do you have your stuff straight, um, Chris? Can you see how many people are on? Oh, okay. So I'm gonna take, let me pull this feed up on my, uh, on my phone. And if you are, uh, well, obviously you're watching, right? But if you could um, share the feed right now, because we're gonna be doing some charbroiled oysters on the grill and, um, some French bread, a nice easy show. At least I always say that. It's always gonna take an hour though. Uh, I can't get this up, oh there it goes. 
So I'm just trying to pull this up so I can help Chris do a couple things and uh, we'll get started. As you can see, I'm using a Weber today and um, it's nothing wrong with the uh, bullseye, but I just feel that uh, for the charbroiled oysters, I just felt better about using the, uh, the Weber. I haven't used that bad boy in a while and I think it was lonely. So Weber action. All right, so um, I can't see how many people are on here. 64, all right, Chris says we got 64. And uh, over in uh, Instagram, we're rocking away. Everybody saying hi, hi. All right. It is hot today, just like every Sunday. Um, is anybody grilling today? So, let me shake this up. So, I was thinking when I was doing this is um, I didn't want to be on the show shucking oysters, right? So, uh, so I just bought, they're already shucked, they're in a pint, I got them on ice right here. Can, you, can everybody see that? Yeah, I'll pour that right over here. Okay. So yeah, I got them on ice, keep them nice and cold. We're going to throw down on some bacon so we can put some bacon in. Um, I got the, the, the thick cut, the right bacon, because for me, you know, you want some chewy bacon when you do the, uh, do the oysters, you don't want uh, crispy bacon, at least I don't want crispy bacon, right? Ah, oh, are you, you um, what, who's the guy that uh, won the uh, banner? What was his name? I know I meant to write that down right before I came out here and I didn't. Um, so Starskovich is uh, doing bologna. I know we had a guy in the group that won our banner of the week and that's what he did. Huh? Kevin's doing a prime rib. Uh oh. So look, let me throw this bacon on. Okay, let me. I'll bring this over here while I put the bacon on. I'm just throwing the bacon on the flat top. You see that over there? This is all my garlic butter. Ooh. See that? That's all for the oysters. It's garlic and herb butter. I'd like to sit here and tell you I made it, but I didn't. I cheated this morning and I bought it. So. I'll take this off so it doesn't sit there and burn up. It's hot. All right. So let me throw some bacon on here. And then uh, we'll get started. Oh, it's Brian Bailey, um, who won our Banner of the Week. He did um, a grilled or smoked uh, bologna. And I'll tell you what, I actually couldn't even tell it was bologna by looking at the picture. It looked so good. And uh, But yeah, it was a, a big log of bologna he cut up and did his, uh, did his, did his, uh, did his bologna, right? All right. So, let me see. I'll put this right here for now. I can see some, uh, some comments. I just gotta figure out which one's the last ones and which one's the first one. Right bacon is the best bacon. Yeah, so right bacon is really good bacon, but it's kind of expensive bacon, so I don't buy it all the time. Um, and sometimes I want thin bacon, depends on, like if I'm doing bacon, or I'm wrapping uh, bacon around skewers, you know, pineapple or shrimp or something like that, I want thin bacon because you want it to cook fast um, and get crispy and so you don't overcook what you have it wrapped in. So look, this is going to be really easy. So look, I didn't, what would you say, Chris? Oh, you can see it? That is a microphone. Yeah. All right. Is it out of the way? Wait, like 10 seconds. Okay. So, um, so that fuzzy thing that you could see in the video, that's, uh, it's actually a mic. Um, it helps cut down on the wind and it, it's, it, instead of the regular mic that's on the iPad, 
This is directed like towards me, and I think it picks up a little bit better. How you doing, Jeff Robinson, Russell, Jeffrey, Stephen? Um, so anyway, so look, um, beans. I didn't want to shuck any oysters today, so that means I don't have the shells to uh, to charboard oysters in, right? So they have these cool little things. These are not like little tins. These are stainless steel. They're kind of sharp on the edges. So you got to be careful with them a little bit. Um, and they're shaped somewhat like an oyster shell. And you just put your oyster in there and you're, and you're ready to rock and roll. So, um, so I'm using these today. I don't know exactly how many oysters are in a pint or half a pint. I'm hoping it should be more than 20. And... What else? I think I need to grab one thing and then I'll be set. Right, give me one second. I just want to get this non-stick sheet here, lay it on the cutting board, and then let me point this down. I think everybody can see right there. What's up, Rick Newland? All right. So look, we got my oysters. There you go. Let me, um... all right, cool. Yes, yeah, so if you can share this feed so we can get as many people on here as possible, that'd be awesome, appreciate it. Like the feed, that way Facebook knows it's, uh, it's a good feed. Uh, so I should have put these on before my hands started sweating. Because once your hands start sweating, Right. All right. They're working there. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so... Uh, so every week we have a contest on... Um, on who shares the feed, right? We have a random winner, and we have a winner who uh, shared the most. And, oh, uh, Jennifer? All right, so our winner for the most shares last week, Jennifer Bates, right? Jennifer Bates. <laughs> Jennifer's like the winner of this woman on barbecue. <laughs> so, Jennifer. Um, I don't know. Is there anything that you don't have? I think Jennifer has everything. But um, let me know what you want, Jennifer, and uh, and you get it for the most shares. Appreciate it. And then who we we're going with Brian Reeves on the random winner. All right. All right. So um, so Brian Reeves, you get to pick any one of these uh, barbecue accessories from Grill Beast uh, that you want. We'll ship them to you free of charge, no shipping charges or anything. Same with you, Jennifer. Both you guys need to contact me and or Pat uh, so we know what to send you. Uh, anytime you win anything for us, if I don't say contact me, I really, I mean like contact me because I think last week I forgot to say it and uh, somebody was waiting on me to contact them. So anyway, 102. So we got 102 people. That's awesome. We haven't even started yet. Um, who? Jason. Yeah, we don't, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Jason. Appreciate the, uh, prop, so. It's, I just call him Vegas. Because I know he's in Vegas. You ought to follow, uh, Jason on his, uh, Instagram feed, too. He does some pretty cool stuff. Alright, so, look. We have, I didn't count them, but I'm sure this is a dozen, uh, 
burning my bacon. What? It'll be all right. The all right, y'all. You gotta remind me. I got stuff cooking and burning. No, that's all right. No, man, it's not your fault. I uh, have a bad habit of getting that stuff on the stove. I start talking and running my mouth. So yeah. So look, um, if I don't know if you've seen this hook before, it's our pigtail beast hook, right? And uh, you can flip tri tips, steaks, pork chops. You can even flip bacon. You can see that nice sharp point. And we designed this thing so over time it can be resharpened and still be strong enough and beefy enough to, to survive, right? So you can see this, it's really nice. Um, we've only had that out for probably three weeks, something like that. We have it live to where, here, let me go ahead and take this bacon off. We have everything live on the website and Amazon. Look at that, you can even scoop stuff with this hook. Yeah, it's nice. Now like, this pigtail meat hook is not to like be flipping briskets, okay? It's uh, designed for things that are under four pounds. Okay, that, and four pounds is pretty big. But you don't wanna be doing briskets, right? That's not, that's not what a meat hook is for. Like tri-tips, three pounds, a steak, you know, however big your steak is, pork chops, bacon, um, chicken, uh, anything like that. But no, it works really good, man. Um, lifetime guarantee, just like all our other tools. All right, so look, we have uh, these tins. So I kind of thought this is better anyway, because not everybody can shuck oysters. So why should I even bother like messing with that when really... I just want to show you how to cook them and what you can cook them in. So you can buy the oysters already shucked in pints, half pints, um, and they're all ready to go. You do not want to get rid you want the juice, so don't get rid of the juice. Um, and then you just put the oyster in here and a little bit of the juice. You start char broiling it and um, just keep soaking it with garlic butter. Here, let me turn this off. Um, you keep soaking it with garlic butter and then you can put different kinds of cheeses on it. I got, I got pepper jack cheese and uh, Parmesan cheese. Now me personally, I know a lot of people, they get fresh Parmesan cheese, but I'm fine with just this cheap craft. I love this stuff. Um, and then when I plate it up, um, I got some garlic bread. I'm going to cut up and toast up a little bit and uh, a little bit of scallion kind of like sprinkle all over. And, uh, and that's it. Now you can um, heat it up. You can put some uh, chili peppers in. You can put jalapenos in. You can do hot sauce. You can do all kinds of stuff. I personally don't get anything out of doing the jalapenos and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'd rather just have it just the way uh, it's intended. But, you know, again, that's me. One thing I did not get is a... Oh, wait, I got a spoon right here. So, I, um, I honestly, well, the oysters came from Rouse's, and um, now Rouse's, they say that they buy local everywhere. I, I don't know if that's true, uh, and it doesn't say, oh, actually, so these oysters are from Texas. Thank you, Texas. <laughs> so, all right, so can everybody see this? No. Let me turn this. And turn that. All right, and I think we're good right about there. All right, I think we're good. All right, so look. Actually, I'm just going to use my hands. Man, these are big oysters, man. Check these out. So you see how you're getting plenty of that juice? Some of them are big. Because you want some of that juice, you want them to cook in that juice. You don't want any oysters that are dried out. Mm. 
Yeah, these are going to be good. Oh, look. I think I'm going to have just enough. Oh! Oh, no! Man! You know what I meant to do? I have some shrimp in the freezer, and I was going to get some of that and grill them up real quick and chop them up and do shrimp on the top. Man, I can't believe I forgot that. And they're still frozen, so I can't just like run in there and grab them. That's all right. These are still going to be really, really good. Um, all right, so look, this is it. So I'm going to carry this over, set it by the grill. I'll come back and get the camera, and uh, we'll start doing some work. Oh, right. All right, so if you guys hear me like randomly talking, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to Chris Johnson, the admin in our group. He's helping me out today. <clears throat> Pat is, uh, well, I don't know if Pat's in bed or if he is eating breakfast, but he went out last night to his 35th. Let me see which way do I want to do this. What's what's the problems? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so uh, if Facebook is being glitchy, apologize for that. But um, I'm sure it'll straighten itself out. It'll be fine. Right. So look, I'm just going to start setting these on. I haven't used this uh, grill in weeks, if not months. Huh? Oh. All right, so there we go. We're going to let this go for a few minutes. Let's see if we can figure out something to talk about. Um, let me, yeah, so we got our garlic butter there. We got our, our beast mop, right? With our silicone um, head. And what else we got? All right, so Facebook straightened up a little bit for everybody. Let me kind of get my head in the camera here. And um, yeah, can everybody still see the oysters and see me too? Yeah, I think so. I think so. All right. Um, I have a set of tongs just in case. Just in case. And I'm actually going to take and put on just one. Beast Armor Glove. It's kind of weird. There you go. Slid right on. See? So this way I can, uh, if I want to, I can just pick up these with just my hand. All right? When they get hot, they'll be good to go. Um, I actually have two things of butter. Let me, uh, So there you go. So my drink is um, vodka and grapefruit juice. It's, it's a healthy drink, right? It's my Sunday morning drink. So is anybody else having a Sunday morning drink? All right, see how they're getting nice and puffy? I need to get some butter on them bad boys. So, there you go.
Yeah, you know, if, if, if your silicone head, like you shouldn't have to do a dishwasher with this head. Literally, you can just rinse it off. Um, so, Steven, uh, I'll send you a new one, man, but it, if, if she put it too low and it was on uh, your, your temperature of your, of your, um, The temperature in your dishwasher gets really hot, especially down low. So if it was down low, um, I don't know. I never, I never even put mine in the dishwasher. I mean, because like they wash off so easy, I don't see any need to put them in the dishwasher. Um, but I'll get you another one, man. I don't know how hot a dishwasher gets, so I'm kind of I'm gonna look into that. All right. So. Uh, well, what else is going on? Yes, yeah, so I got those metal tins at Rouse's. And, um, let's put this bad boy over here. Because that one's getting like done. I got a bunch of herbs and garlic. Like I like to put all the butter on. All right, so, anybody want to talk about anything specific? Do you, I, uh, you prefer the silicon ones. Um, so, Bob Tate, I assume you're talking about the heads on the mop. So, we have, when you get one of our mops, it actually comes with a cotton head, but we give you a silicone um, kit to, uh, to turn it into silicone if you want. So, um... So when you do that, it is easier to clean. So I prefer to fill again. Yeah, right. Dishwashers get really hot. So these are looking. So this is actually the first time I ever used any of these tins. So, um, shit. But so far, I guess I like them. I mean, I'd rather have the shells. A cast iron, uh, no, I did not, I've never seen that. That would have been kind of cool to get. I don't have any, man. I don't have any jalapenos. I know. I should have got jalapenos. Oh, great. The bacon. Close that off a little bit. All right. I need to chop some bacon up. After I went through all that stuff to get the bacon, I almost forgot the bacon. See, once I start talking, I forget to do things. I know, right? I should have got the jalapenos. I knew I should have. All right, there we go. 
puppies are about done too. What's that? Right. All right. All right, there you go. I think these bad boys are about ready to come off, too. All right, we got 116 people. It looks like I'm missing some bacon on this one. I need. I still need to put the Parmesan on there. I'm just going to put the Parmesan after it's done. Boy, that grill is hot. I'll burn some butter. So the uh, cheese will hide that. Put that piece of bacon in there. That piece of bacon we tried to run away. That goes in there. All right. So as far as the ten things go, I don't know that I like the tens. I mean they're okay, but they're not they're not as good as doing the shells. Cause um, I don't know, it's like you see how the butter burned on the uh, on the tens. I never had that problem with shells. So um, so yeah, that's my opinion. But anyway, hey, how's it look? So I got garlic bread here. This is nice fresh garlic, um, uh, fresh bread. So we'll just do. Huh? Oh yeah, happy birthday, Phil! And there's uh, somebody else in the group birthday today too. Oh, Jeff, the ketchup man. We should nickname him. Right. Catch up, man. Catch up, Jeff. Catch up with Jeff. So across the street, they are, uh, they got a big truck out there. I think it has like a little boom on it because uh, they had this big brick pillar for a mailbox and somebody backed into it and it knocked the entire thing over. So I went over there, and uh, I was going to help him try to pick it up, but uh, you need to have He-Man over there picking that thing up. So, two, four, five, we'll do six pieces of bread. All right, I don't know how this is going to work out. I've never tried to do this before, but... Um, Oh, thank you, Shannon. Shannon and uh, Lucas are having a uh, get-together with their group. 
on my birthday, but it's not for my birthday. I like to think it's for my birthday, but it's not. Um, so look, I'm gonna just toast this just a little bit. Pat's on. All right, Pat's on. So, uh, all right. I'm gonna drink it. What else we got going on today, guys? It's 1041. We're about ready to wrap it up. So, let's flip these over. That grill is hot. What's up, Pat? Pat had a 35 year class reunion last night. 35 years. Pat, you're getting old, man. <laughs> ah. No, I got, Pat, I got Chris on the, in my ear. So Chris has helped me out today. Pat is, uh, ow. Pat is taking an easy day. He deserves it. He does a lot of work. So, ow. Oh, Pat just got home? Jesus Christ. All right. All right, let me... You know, that's stupid, right? I got tongs right here. I'm fighting the heat. I'm fighting the heat, burning my hands. One, look. I got beast armor here, and I got tongs here. That I could have been doing it with. So, um, ribs and chicken. So, let me just brush these with a little bit of. Look at all the butter at home. All right, there we go. Now, my Weber. My, my Weber grill feels good. It got used and maybe abused. All right. Oh, tomorrow. So Dan Edwards turns 41 tomorrow. Oh, okay. There you are. 35. Ha. Oh, no. So Pat's older than 35. That's his 35th, um, um, uh, 35 year class reunion. So add, um, add like 18 years of that for Pat. All right, Jason, uh, it's, it's one of those. Open the big fridge and see what ends up. I don't know what uh, Jason's referring to. Um, got it in a hurry. All right, I'm kind of lost on some of these comments. That's all right, I just haven't been keeping up with them. All right, so you know what I need? I need a plate so I can put these on a plate and um, Here's the thing. I'm, I don't even think I'm going to bother plating them up because they don't look that pretty. What do y'all think? Oh, okay. So, um, I planned on doing this old presentation with these, but I'm not going to because they don't, they don't look that appetizing. I'm going to go get me a fork and I'm going to try one. And then I got some people inside we're actually packaging, we're still repackaging um, uh, barbecue, beastly barbecue sets. And we have about, about 700 left to do, 650 left to do. So, uh, oh, I'm glad you mentioned that, Richard. Um, talk about, he's got it all in caps too, talking about the fatty. So look, uh, if you are in our private, VIP, uh, Grill Beast VIP group. It's free, by the way. We don't charge for you to be in the group. Um, the reason I mention that is because I know there's people out there that actually charge for that shit. So uh, we don't do that. We want you to be in the group. We want uh, we want to see what you're doing. Learn from you. You learn from us. So anyway, we are doing a contest. We do a contest every single month. Last month we did the Eddie Hoare. No wait, that was the Burger Challenge. We did a Taco ch uh, Challenge last month. And um, the winner won a $100 gift card to grillbeast.com, a $50 gift card to Cajun Grocer, 
and a couple other things. Uh, the second place winner won $50 gift card to growbeast.com and the third place won $25 gift card to growbeast.com. So now this month we are doing the fatty challenge. Um, I showed uh, how to do a bacon weave so you can wrap your fatty in a nice bacon weave. I did that in the group the other day because we had some people um, that didn't know how to do it. It's really simple. Um, and then I actually I fried that whole bad boy up on a flat top and we all ate it. So the fatty challenge. Um, you have one week left. You gonna eat some oysters? How do they look? So Tyler's never had an oyster. So uh, we could try this out on her. Oh, she has? Oh, she had a fried oyster. Jeff Nett. Okay, yeah. Hey, how you doing, Jeff? Um, so anyway, so we're doing the Fatty Challenge this month in the Grill Beast VIP group. Um, submission starts August 18th, 12.01 a.m. Why August 18th? Because that's my birthday. And I just figured that's a good time to do it. So you have one week. Um, you There's three ways to win. So your picture can... So there's three categories. So there's always a, a, there's a winner based on the image, the picture, how beautiful it looks. There's a winner based on how they describe what they did. And then there's a winner for being unique. I might even get the unique prize, but I can't win, so it won't be me. But I think I have my plan. I'm actually picking up my supplies today because what I'm using can only be gotten from one person and uh, today's the day and I'm not even I don't want to give any indication what I'm doing because I honestly believe nobody else would do a fatty like mine um, so anyway don't alright so Richard Albertini is going to donate another uh, $50 and a thousand dollar no $50 gift card I almost got you Richard <laughs> so um, so, so the winner of this week or this month is going to get a $100 gift card to Grobeast.com and a $50 gift card to Cajun Grocer. Cajun Grocer, they ship uh, crawfish, they ship crabs, they, shrimp, they, sh they ship shrimp, they ship uh, turductin. And if you don't know what turductin is, um, I'm sure we're going to do a show. Maybe we can even do a show um, this fall showing how they do turductins right so maybe Albert can kind of hook me up with a contact that we can go in and do a show in their um, facility whatever it is or maybe we can even get them here they can do one right here in my backyard that'd be kind of cool all right so you got that Richard um, we'll talk later on that man all right you want to try one of these go get a fork I need one anyway come on hustle Asking, did he uh, did he type it in the uh, comments? Uh, Pat, um, we don't know what you're typing. So Pat's typing a message, and see, I got the juice on my dag on. All right, so we're gonna try one of these. I know, right? So, you want the first one? Good. Aren't you supposed to like sip it off like that? It's not raw. That's what it's you eat these raw? You can. Why? Are you gonna try it? Yeah. So Tyler has never had a charboard oyster apparently. It has bacon. Get on the get on the camera. Come on. So if she makes a funny face and she doesn't like it, that's not a reflection of my cooking. Tyler, oh, she's fixing her hair. Hold on. I didn't think someone was going to have to fix their hair. But look at her haircut. Isn't it cute? She looks so cute with this new haircut she got for school. She's now a high school student. All right. Let me raise this up a little bit. All right, so Tyler's never had a charboard oyster. Now you have to, usually you have to eat a couple. When you do something new, you eat a couple, right? We don't have those little small fancy forks.
Good. See, she likes the first one. So let's do this one. Right. Well, it's something new to your to your palate. So she said the texture's a little weird. There. Try this one. Good. There you go. Tyler approved. <laughs> All right. So, um, actually, I think that's pretty much it. Um, in case you didn't notice, um, my gloves are Beast Nitro, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. See, look how far I'm stretching that, right? They have, uh, Chris, have you gotten your Nitro gloves yet? All right. So, the admins, they, um, they haven't gotten their uh, nitro gloves yet. I know there's people in the group that, that should have them by now. So Jason, Mr. Vegas, um, should have his by now. Um, Are you supposed to eat that? Yeah, so that is uh, pepper jack cheese and Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's all cheese, you can eat it all, all right? So like right here, that's the garlic butter that burned. What? Is this metal? Yeah, that's stainless steel, all right? So go ahead and dig out. Pig out. Oh, no. oh shit. All right. Look. Hey, look, Tyler, don't eat them all because we've got um, people inside that want to eat. All right, so, um, and I have a couple more I can cook too. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the beach nitro. So, Jason. Um, if you could comment on the gloves, because I'm pretty sure you should have yours by now. Jason was the very first person to order the gloves. He was the very first person to order the, the pigtail meat hook. Um, normally, um, Todd Kern is the first one, but I don't know how Jason beat him, but he did. But I think Todd's been, like, uh, preoccupied. So anyway, uh, if somebody could... Could um, what's Jeff saying? Oops, about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, right? But well, it all looks good. You gonna eat some bread? Okay. Um. Oh yeah, Jennifer Bates. Uh, I think has a set of gloves too. Seems like a. Anytime people order a new product, I always check out everybody's order right away, and I'm pretty sure. Russell got his. How how do you like your gloves, Russell? So yeah, man, if you can comment how you like them. Um, hopefully you got the right size. We have medium, large, and extra large. Um, I know I've had a couple people that's, that asked for small, but we're gonna kind of gauge this first shipment and kind of see how the mediums fit people and see if, the, if we have to go to a small, we'll order some smalls next time too. Um, let me see. That girl can eat. Tyler can eat. Tyler's an eater, boy. Look, you got to save some for um, for Ashley and all, okay? I'm eating everything in here. Oh, okay, good. All right. Have at it. Right. She's not wasting any of that cheese. So, I don't, like I said, I don't know that I'm a big fan of these tins. They're okay. Like, if you don't have the shells, then you don't have the shells. Um... The only way to um, to get the shells is if you buy the oysters, shuck them, and then you have the shells. And then you can save them. You can actually wash them and then you keep reusing them. That's what uh, oyster houses do down here. They just keep reusing the shells. Um, and then there's some places, they just have a, a crap load of shells and they have the oysters. They don't even shuck them. <clears throat> like there's a Don's um, Seafood here. And I don't think they shuck any oysters. But then there's Acme down the street, which is way better than the Acme in New Orleans. Uh, like, they don't even compare to Acme and Acme Oyster House in New Orleans. I personally don't, I'm not a fan of. But the Acme Oyster House the down in my street is, like, really, really good. So. <laughs> no, right. She is, uh, she's definitely groomed for expensive dinners. So I can't take these kids out without spending at least, well, you plus I... You take me to Popeye's 
and get me lots of fried chicken and I will be happy. That's true. Well, actually, we both would be happy with Chubby's fried chicken. Chubby's. If you ever go to come to New Orleans, go to the West Bank, go to Algiers to Chubby's Chicken. It is seriously the best chicken in the world. The best chicken I've ever had in my life. These people, they open up at 10, they close at 6.30 every day, and they're not open weekends. That's how much chicken they sell. They don't have to be open weekends or nights. And in that neighborhood, I don't think I'd want to be open anyway. So, um, anyway, I think that's it. Unless anybody has any questions. Let me see, can we get oysters and which? So you can get oysters anywhere. You know what, you might want to ask uh, Albert, I mean, Rick Albertini, um, and see if they ship oysters. Go to CajunGrocer.com, see if they ship oysters. Because you can probably get oysters shipped fresh, get them overnight. And then you can you can order these tens on uh, Amazon or something, and uh, you're set. You can probably, I don't know if Cajun Grocer does it, but they ship everything else fresh. You can probably get oysters in the shell fresh shipped overnight. Um, dude, we got flies everywhere. Oh, uh, yeah, so you should be able to, you can't tag him. Let's see, congrats, Jennifer. Oh, yeah, that's you. Uh, churches and Popeyes. So, yeah, I like Popeye's chicken. It's good. Um, churches, I don't know. I, um, I've only been to churches one time, and that was like right, I want to say right after Katrina, and I didn't like it. But it could have been something going on, and a, like it might, have not, it might not have been their normal thing. Oh, wait a minute. Because church's know. chicken, I mean, there's a bunch of them, and they're, they're, they always have a line. So... Um, I need to try it again. Let me see. Uh, Pacific Seafood Online, hands down. Best chicken. And yeah, it's chubby. So, hey, Richard, do you guys ship um, oysters? Yeah, so, Richard, put a link to your Cajun grocer. And if you ship oysters, put a link to that page uh, in the comments. That would be cool. And then I'll take and uh, I'll add it to the... The, uh, oh, the, look, Jennifer. Jennifer, what do you want? <laughs> Jennifer, do you, I guess you know that you won, right? Jennifer. Oh, did you? All right, Jennifer, we appreciate it. Now, wait a minute. You're not sharing it to your own feed three times, right? No, Jennifer knows the deal. Uh, we appreciate you sharing the feed, Jennifer. We really do. Um, everybody, share the feed. How many shares do we have right now? You might have to refresh it to see the accurate shares. So I got Chris checking on how many shares we got so far. I know last week, last week we were banging out the shares, but, um, but we also did a really, really cool and very unique uh, dish, which was lobster ginger scallion, uh, Cantonese style lobster. We did it on the grill and it was outrageous. And I'm, I, I would be willing to bet that I'm the only one ever to do it as a live feed um, on the grill, maybe even on video on the grill, maybe ever on the grill. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go that far. That. I doubt that. It's probably happened. I'm sure it has. I'd like to think I was the only one, though. Nice. So we have 166 shares. You know what would be cool, and I know we've hit it once or twice where we've gotten over 200 shares. If we could get over 200, if we could get over 200 shares, we'll pick three winners next time. So we'll have one with the most shares and um, one with the second most shares and then a random. How about that? So, and then look, you can share all week long. We don't pick the winner until the show starts the next week. So you have a full seven days to share. You can come in every day and share. You can share it twice a day. Um, but look, if you're sharing it in other groups, like we want to get in other groups too, but we don't want you to spam the groups, right? Like if they don't, if they don't appreciate that kind of stuff, then don't do it. Um, but there's a lot of groups that don't mind what you're doing. You know, there's, there's probably hundreds of barbecue groups. And so this could go into the Weber group. It could go into a seafood group, an oyster group. Uh, I'm sure there's groups for all these things. So like, don't just, don't limit your thinking to just barbecue groups. Um, whatever the type of food we're making, 
which this is actually a great idea. We should do this ourselves. Um, <laughs> so whatever type of food I'm cooking, there's probably a group for that, and we should be in that group. So, um, and, and see, a lot of times if I'm doing a recipe for something and there's a group for that type of food, they would probably appreciate the recipe. So, um, oh, see, thanks, Starskovich. Good idea. I'm sure they're okay. We'll find out because I'm going to be cooking them up in a minute. Uh, anything else? We've been on for one hour. Almost one hour. I know it's not quite an hour because Instagram hasn't kicked off yet, and they kick off exactly one hour. So I think it's probably time to wrap this thing up. Uh, yeah, right. Well, actually, on this, it says 56 minutes and 20 seconds. So we're getting prepped today um, to finish um, packaging these Beastly Barbecue sets. Uh, it has been an enormous job. I've got um, one person that has come almost every single weekend and worked her ass off to make it happen. And then we have other people that come in just like, uh, they come in twice so that way we get everything kind of set up. And then when we, we're all set up and so we bring a crew in and they can bang out like three or 400 in a day. Uh, but it's because of the prep work and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, I think I need to wrap this up. People are looking out the window. They want the rest of the oysters. And um, that's it. So remember, so the tools I used today was a beast mop and then the pigtail meat hook. Um, both of these things are available on our website and on Amazon. But, never mind, I'm not going to make any special announcements today. Um, there was one more thing I was going to say, and I can't remember what it was. All right, must not be that important. That's it. Appreciate y'all coming. How many we got on right now, Chris? 91. All right, so we're rounding down. That means I'm rambling too much. People are rolling out. Uh, thanks so much, Jeff, Jennifer, uh, John, Patty. Here, let me take this glove off so I can scroll. Um, it's not working. My hands are sweaty. There's grease right there. Ah, there we are. Uh, Chaz, also a great grape juice and vodka group oh good point Chaz there probably is a grapefruit and vodka group uh, Chris tell him to put oysters back on oh that was Richard that said that oh a bunch of people was telling me yeah thanks everybody um, all right anyway look I got to stop rambling um, appreciate y'all coming I truly truly do it's uh, it's an honor to have people here on uh, Sunday when I know people want to be relaxing. I have to go to the farmer's market to get the stuff for my fatty. If you're not in the Grill Beast VIP group, you can't be in the challenge, so go join the group. Answer the two questions so you can get in, and um, you might be the winner next week, EBI okay? I got in. You're right, T Tyler's in the group. So anyway, no assholes allowed, all right? Uh, peace out, we'll talk to y'all next week. 10 o'clock Central Time every Sunday, um, unless something special is going on and I have to be out of town. Anyway, thanks a lot. Peace out, and y'all have a great day.